An individual's sense of self-confidence comes from their belief in their own abilities, qualities, and judgments. Confidence plays a key role in mental health and psychological well-being. Take steps to increase your trust and belief in yourself and be more confident. Researchers have linked higher self-confidence levels among athletes with increased motivation to practice their sport of choice, suggesting that self-confidence can also motivate you to achieve your goals. You even present yourself differently depending on your level of confidence. For instance, working from home can cause you to feel lonely and isolated without the company of your colleagues in meetings. Being confident in yourself isn't always easy, especially if you're naturally self-critical or if others put you down. The good news is that you can maintain or increase your self-confidence by following a few techniques. There are many aspects of our lives where self-confidence is important, yet many people struggle to find it. Unfortunately, this can become a vicious cycle. People lacking self-confidence are less likely to achieve the success that may give them more confidence. This video will discuss different techniques that can boost your self-confidence. Before we continue, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos immediately. Have you done that? Good, let's get started. Number 1. Practice self-awareness. Think about who you are and take some time to reflect on it. What kind of person are you? What are your values? Is there anything you would like to accomplish? It is very common for us to try to fit into the mold we think society wants us to fit into. When we have a false perception of ourselves, we can never feel comfortable in our own skin. As soon as you recognize what matters and what matters to you, do things that fulfill those needs. You will be more confident when you live according to your values and passions. Number 2. Surround yourself with positive people. It might surprise you how much the people in your life can influence your thoughts and attitudes about yourself. Be aware of how others make you feel. It may be time to say goodbye to a particular person if you feel bad about yourself after hanging out with them. Rather, surround yourself with positive and loving people. Find positive people who can help you build your confidence. Positivity and self-confidence go hand in hand. Number 3. Stop comparing yourself to others. When you realize that you draw comparisons, how can you build your self-confidence? The first thing you should do is remind yourself that doing so isn't helpful. There is no competition in life, everyone runs their own race. You should also remember your own strengths and successes if you are feeling envious of someone else's life. Number 4. Face your fears. Be brave enough to face some of your fears that stem from a lack of self-confidence. No matter how scared you are that you will embarrass yourself or make a mistake, try anyway. Performance can even be improved by a little self-doubt. Try it out and see what happens. There's no harm in being a little anxious or making a few mistakes if you realize it's not as bad as you thought. As you progress, your confidence grows. As a result, you can avoid taking risks that will have major negative consequences in the long run. Number 5. Do things you're good at. Do you know what happens when you do things you're good at? You begin to feel more confident. Your strengths become even stronger, which improves your self-confidence. Another benefit of this approach is that it can increase your level of satisfaction in life. If you're good at a sport, for instance, make a point to train or play every week. When you're good at something at work, try doing it more often. Building on your strengths can also help you build your self-confidence. Number 6. Set confidence boosting and realistic goals. In order to build confidence, setting and achieving goals is key, but setting high-reaching goals and not achieving them has been found to damage confidence. On the other hand, realistic goals are achievable. Your confidence in yourself and your abilities increases as you achieve your goals. Set realistic goals by writing them down. Next, ask yourself if you have a chance of achieving it. Be honest, if the answer is slim to none, the goal may be a bit too lofty. Dial it back so it is more realistic and more achievable. Number 7. Push your comfort zone. Although it may seem intimidating to step outside your comfort zone, it will also bring a lot of benefits. The more you push yourself, the more you can achieve. Your confidence will grow as you become more proud of yourself. In addition, you will feel like you're growing, which can energize you to keep striving for your dreams. Do one thing a day that scares you to push the boundaries of your comfort zone. Never put yourself in an unsafe or distressing situation but do something you may not have been comfortable doing before. Whether you do it successfully or not, you'll be proud of yourself for trying, and it will give you the confidence you need for other things. There are a variety of benefits to being more confident in your life. In addition to helping you feel better about yourself and your abilities, self-confidence can make your relationship stronger and make you more resilient to stress. This concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you think you know how to be more confident in yourself? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. Remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Make sure you also click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos immediately. Till the next video, bye for now.